Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to shuffle your question order. So as a teacher, we want to shuffle the questions and we also want to shuffle the options. Shuffling the options is the easy one, but shuffling the question order, especially when you have the name on the top, it becomes challenging. So I'll just show you an example how to do it. So let's say this is the Google form that we have. So we have got into Google Drive. From the Google Drive, I have opened the Google form. So let's name it as test one. I just name it as test one here also. This, I'll put the form description. This is a multiple choice question. So what we need to do here is we need to create sections. So let's say we want two things about the students. First, we want the name of the student. And then we want the enrollment number of the student. So the first step we'll do is we'll create a section. So section one of two is the title. Section two is simply student details. So we'll keep the question as, we'll put the question as, what is your name? And in the options, we'll say short answers because that's what we want. And the student can answer, the student can put his answer as a text, okay? Now we need, let's say the enrollment number. So again, we create another section and we title it as enrollment number. And the question that we put here is, we had a question here, we put the question as, what is your enrollment number? Okay, again, this is a short answer question because we need a short answer for this. Now let's move on to the question paper. What we'll do again, we'll create a section and we'll title it as question paper. And we'll add a question. We'll just talk about three questions, let's say. So let's say the first question is, what is the capital of India, for example? And we want it to be a multiple choice question, obviously. So we'll put the first option as New Delhi. We'll put the second option as Kolkata. Put the third option as Mumbai. Fourth option as Nagpur, let's say. Okay. Now, when you want to shuffle the answers, it's easy. What we do is we just click this option here on the right and we say shuffle option order, okay? Just have to click these three dots and click the shuffle option order. The options, the answers will be shuffled for every student. Now we'll continue with this section only and let's put the second question as Which of the following is not an Asian country? Which of the following is not an Asian country? Again, we'll put India, we'll put Nepal, we'll put Sri Lanka, and we'll put Egypt, for example. Okay, now I want to shuffle the answers. Again, we'll click these three dots and say shuffle option order, okay? Now we want to shuffle the order of these questions. So what is the capital of India will come first for some students and which of the following is not an Asian country will come first for some students. And we say it's a required answer, okay? So we click this option. Now what we need to do is we need to go to responses and we need to go to the settings option and we'll say, make this as a quiz. So first thing is we need to make this as a quiz, okay? And then 
in general, we can ask for the email addresses for the students and we can restrict to users in one organization or we can limit to one response. They can't submit multiple responses. In the presentation part, what we do is we just say shuffle question order. We click the shuffle question order and mind you in this only the question order in the third section where we want it to be changed will be changed. It won't change the order of name and enrollment number. That order will remain the same. And we say save. Okay, now let's see whether it works or not. So we'll try it twice. So how do we try it? We copy the link first. So we click on send, we copy the link. We shorten the URL from here and we copy it. Now let's paste it in one of the tabs and let's see what the order of the question is. So here's the question paper that we have. I'll put my email address. Let's say it is sanjaflori at gmail.com. Then next, I will put my enrollment number. I'll put it as 678 and say next. Now here you see the first question is which of the following is not an Asian country. If you remember in the original form, my order was reverse. For me, the first question was, what is the capital of India? And the second question was, which of the following is not an Asian country? If you want, I can show you that. So here is the order of the question in my original setting. So first question was, what is the capital of India? Second question was, which of the following is not an Asian country? But when I try to answer that question by sharing the link, the order reverses. So just check here, my order is reverse. What is the capital of India becomes the second question. This becomes the first question. This is really helpful when you have 50 odd questions or 100 odd questions. If the order shuffles, order of the question shuffles and order of the options shuffles, and it becomes difficult for the students to copy. I hope you like this video. Thank you.